back with BuzzFeed. And there's no puppies. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland and today I'm here with BuzzFeed and I'm going to be answering 30 questions as quickly as possible. I had an Eggs Benedict this morning, two lattes with double shots and an orange juice, so I am so wired right now. <laughs> my best friend Harrison, he's living in my house right now and the gate is broken, so the only way for he can get out the house is if I remotely open the gate from my phone. So that is, that is what we're dealing with right now. Oh, I actually finished last night watching my first season of Survivor. I loved it. I'm so deep into the backstabbing and what do they call it in Survivor, the thing they do? When they like all go against one person. Blindsiding people, I love it. I can't wait to start it again. Sunny by Bob Herb, Heb, Heb. Bob Heb, Bobby Heb? Meryl Streep, I'd love to work with her. Killian Murphy again and Leonardo DiCaprio. Secretive, inspiring and educational. People that talk about themselves too much. We call them me monsters or an 11 a reef because in the UK, Tenerife is a really good place to go on holiday. If you've been to 11 a reef, which is an imaginary place, it means that you're always one better than Tenerife. So if someone is continually talking about themselves at dinner and they're one-upping you all the time and it's exhausting, me and my friends will always say, oh, this guy's just got back from 11 a reef and they don't know what it means, but now they do. I have no riz whatsoever. I have limited riz. My brother Paddy has ultimate riz. I don't know, I need you to fall in love with me really for it to work. So long game, probably making a movie with each other. It definitely helps when the characters you're playing are falling in love with one another. You can sort of blur the lines a little bit. That's kind of where my riz is at. And I'm, you know, I'm locked up, so I'm happy and in love. So I've got no need for riz. My onset bestie would be one of my real life best friends, which is Ben Perkins. He was my acting coach throughout this experience. And to be perfectly honest with you, I couldn't have done it without him. Probably physical touch and words of affirmation. I like, I like both of those things. Those are important to me. Emma Laird is definitely the most likely to throw a party after work. Probably Downey, we'd have a good time. He'd figure out a good way to survive. He's invested a lot into machines that can generate fresh water from thin air and stuff like that. He's doing all the right things. So if, I, if he could bring one of those machines with him, I think we'd be pretty good. In an environment that was incredibly dark and serious, she always brought the light to set. So I really loved her bubbly persona. Obnoxious, less obnoxious, Zendaya. It's non-stop and she sends me too much. It's like, I can't keep up because I delete my Instagram for days at a time. I download it to post and then I have to check my messages and I'll have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things from her. And um, I try and keep up, but it's intense. The crowded room reviews. <laughs> Zendaya, easy. I think my Spider-Man movies in my personal preference would be one, three, two. I would probably have the Patek Philippe, olive green Nautilus. Olive green is my favorite color. So when they brought that watch out, I couldn't quite believe that they had brought out not only my favorite watch, but in my favorite color. I did everything I could possibly do to get that watch and um, I failed miserably. One of the Harry Potter movies. To be honest, I'd love to be in Billy Elliot again, but maybe as Tony or even as the dad, like way down the line. I think that would be a lot of fun. The people. You'd struggle to find a city with greater people than New York. Lewis Hamilton. I'd love to try and drive one of those cars. And like, he's obviously, you know, he's the best at it and, and no one does it like him. He's an amazing bloke and someone that I really admire. Um, so to step into his shoes, albeit he does wear crazy shoes, would be an honor. My most useless talent is, I can make a water droplet by flicking my cheek. Hold on. No. No. It's a useless talent because I can't even fucking do it. Damn, we'll come back to it. The wildest rumor that I've ever heard about myself is recently that I decided to become sober after having a meltdown on set, which is wildly untrue. Um, I decided to give up drinking long before I stepped onto set at the crowded room. Um, I was really lucky I did so. I think had I been drinking during this show, it would have been a very different experience. So that's probably the craziest one I've heard in a while. 
I really love carpentry. I've been building stuff at my house. I've got something that's arriving at the end of this month that I'm really excited to build, which I'm gonna do in my garden. I'm very lucky that some of my best friends are all professional carpenters and build film sets. So I'll have a good set of hands to kind of help me figure it out. But I think I would have made a pretty good living out of being a carpenter. I want to say something like forest green because that's my favorite color, but I'm really pink or something bright, yellow, bubbly. I'd love to say forest green because it seems quite cool and brooding, but that isn't who I am. Definitely the cryy face, the smiley cryy face. That's the one I use the most. I feel like it encapsulates so many different emotions while being very clear as to the way you're using it. We were lucky enough to go this year and we really want to go back, so I'm not going to tell you that because I don't want the paparazzi showing up when I'm on a beach after having not been to the gym for six months and not feeling great about myself. <laughs> I can't say that here. <laughs> well, look, I have two. There's that one and then, and then there's that one and they're mine. I'm Tom Holland and I've been with BuzzFeed answering 30 questions. My new Apple TV Plus show, The Crowded Room, is out now. Thank you.